Hey y'all, it's Shay Elise. So I know how hard it is since we can't get our nails done with quarantine and everything, but I did um, go ahead and put together a nice video for y'all that's very beginner friendly for your own acrylic set at home. Um, so if you want to see how I got this nice cute pink glitter look, stay tuned. So I'm starting off with fresh nails. I gave myself a nice manicure. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys everything I use. I use these tips, uh, the Sassy Acrylic Powder Clear, Sassy Nail Glue, um, some regular nail clippers. Everything in here is by Sassy, by the way. The Sassy um, Buffer, uh, some cuticle clippers, a brush, cuticle, um, I guess, pushbackers, the Sassy Acrylic Liquid, the No Burn Primer and um, another sassy emery board. Um, I actually used two, but I don't think I showed the first one. So I went ahead and started by clipping my nails down, um, not to the nub, but almost there. And then I cleaned my nails with some acetone um, nail polish remover just to make sure that they're clear and free of oils. So after you clean your nail beds with acetone, you're going to want to go ahead and get your nail glue and your tips. And you want to go ahead and um, fit your tip to each nail perfectly. Um, now with mine, uh, one of my ring fingers, my right ring finger, it kind of goes to the side a little bit. So I do a nail that's a little bit smaller than that one, but you, you guys will see it. I'll show it up close. I do a nail that's a little bit smaller than that so I can kind of make it fit, I guess kind of make it go straight. Um, you'll see when uh, it comes up. It, it's kind of curved to the side a little bit. But yeah, like I was saying, you're going to fit each nail tip to your nail to make sure that it fits um, perfectly. Here's actually what I was talking about. My ring um, finger goes to the side a little bit. Um, but yeah, and then after that, you're going to go ahead and glue all the tips down. I use like a really, really tiny dot of glue. And then if that wasn't enough, I put a little bit more of a dot on there. Um, but yeah, I'm going to shut up now and just let you guys watch. Um, so like I said, I'm just doing the tips part now and then gluing them down. Now I do want to mention um, here when I'm gluing the tips down, I'll press it down um, on top of the nail bed and then after I think it's secure enough, I'll squeeze the sides down a little bit to make sure it's extra secure. So this is the final look. Um, you know, I love clacking my little acrylic nails when I have them on, they long and everything, but I cannot function with long nails like this. So I'm cutting them, I guess, kind of halfway down. And to get the best cut, I cut as far in as I can go on each nail on each side. And then after I cut that, I just twist it right off. And you guys can see this is the, um, this is the outcome of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that on all of my nails. So in order to make sure each length on each hand is the same length, I put my two nails together side by side, look about how much I need to cut off of the other nail to make it completely, um, pretty much identical, and I just do that throughout the rest of my nails. Here's another sassy emery board that I used. Uh, this is what I'm going to use to shape my nails, and I'm also going to use the actual hard uh, sassy board. Well, the, not the hard one, but the square one um, to actually like kind of buff my nails and rough them up a little bit. Now, in the instructions, it said not to file the ridge, but I think that that'll make it look kind of bulky. So I went ahead and filed the ridge down, and you know, they came out great. So um, I don't think I did anything wrong. So yeah, I'm just roughing my nail bed a little bit to um, make sure that the acrylic adheres a little bit better. So here are my nails after roughing up my nail bed for the acrylic to he adhere to it better. And now I'm going to actually start the shaping process. So I filed the edge of, edges of the actual nail tips uh, to make sure nothing was, you know, crowding over into my actual skin on my nails because that can get really painful and then it's harder to file that away when you actually start to um, put the acrylic on. 
I wanted to do a coffin shape so I started to use the cuticle clippers at first because they're kind of at an angle but I realized that using just the regular nail clippers was a lot easier and a lot faster and I pretty much got the same results. So I clipped away each side of the nail and then I used the nail file to kind of um, straighten it out a little bit more and give it a little bit more of a curve. So after all of that filing, here are my finished nails um, of the coffin shape. So I used this brush to get some of the file powder off of my nails. And then I went ahead and got my sassy brush set and used number six to do the acrylic nail process. So I went ahead and dipped the brush in some acetone to make sure it was clean and I'm using the clear acrylic powder by Sassy. And I went ahead and primed my nails, I did all of them um, off camera, but I did my thumbnail and I went ahead and dipped my brush in the acrylic, got a bulb, um, so I just kind of dipped it in really quick and pulled it out right away. And I'm just painting my nail pretty much like how I would paint my regular nails. It wasn't that hard of a process at all to me. Um, but you just do have to kind of be careful to not get on your skin and not get it too close to your cuticle area. But other than that, you guys, it was really simple and it turned out to be a lot easier than I thought. So if you're thinking that, oh, this might be too complex for you, trust me, I know that you got this. So I did end up getting some acrylic onto my skin and I'm about to show you guys now what happens pretty much if you get it onto your skin. Nothing bad happens or anything. You kind of just want to go ahead and hurry up and scrape it off. So I use my little tool, my put, put, cuticle push backer to go ahead and scrape that off. And here's the final look after the acrylic has been applied. I was really surprised about how it was starting to look. I was like, wow, this looks so good. And then I saw Boo Boo. So I guess some of the paint on the acrylic um, pen, not pen, the acrylic brush got onto my fingers and turned them black. So I'm going ahead and using my cuticle push to push my cuticles back so I can go ahead and take my file and pretty much shape out my nails some more and file the acrylic down that was a little bit too bulky to make it look like an actual real nail. So as you can see I'm filing the sides, filing, filing above my cuticle area and filing on top of the actual nail. Now I'm going to use my buffer to get it smooth on the um, on the nail bed but the file really helped a lot and like I said this kit was really great. It came with every single tool that I needed. So here I'm using my sassy buffer um, and I'm just going over the top of my nails and kind of smoothing out all the rough edges to make it get as smooth as possible so I can have an easy and clean application of the gel polish. And here are my nails after all of that prep. So I'm going to use the Sassy Nail Art Brushes and I'm using the one, the yellow one, all the way to the right. And here is the Beatles UV lamp that I used. And I also used the Beatles 
a line of gel polish so I got this kit off of Amazon I'll put the link below um, but like I said so here we're going to go ahead and start the application process of my nails with the gel polish so here's the color gel that I use it's a pink glitter it's number 30 and it was so cute you guys I didn't even realize that I well I didn't even think that I wanted to use glitter until I saw this color it's so so pretty I'm also using the Beatles Foundation um, Base Gel and the Top It Off Gel for the top gel. So I went ahead and put the base gel on all of my nails and I cured my nails for um, 120 seconds. Now it says on the bottle you can do it between 90 to 120 but I just went ahead and did 120 each time so I can make sure that I have the most cured uh, nail set. And here are my nails after they cure. They're already really shiny. So this part um, with the actual application of the polish is was a little confusing. So I went ahead and did my first two nails off camera. But as you can see, I'm putting a little bit of the gel on top of the tip. And then I'm going to take the yellow uh, fine nail art brush and bring it down on the sides a little bit. And then I'm going to bring it down in the middle to kind of give it this ombre effect. Um, so you'll see what I'm doing and hopefully it makes a little bit more sense when you actually watch it. So like I said, I'm going to take it down on the sides and then bring it to um, bring it down towards in the middle as well to give it this ombre effect. And I kind of just feathered the ends um, as I got to the lighter portion of the ombre. I'm going to explain it one more time to you guys in real time. So I'm putting a little bit of the color on top of the tip. Then I'm going to take my yellow fine nail art brush and bring it down on the right side. Um, kind of feather it down and then bring it down on the left side and feather it down. And then I'm going to work my way into the middle to bring it down. And then I'm going to feather it out um, on the very end of the actual ombre to make it an ombre color so it's lighter towards the end. Now with this color, um, with the ombre effect, I only did one coat and I went ahead and cured it for 120 seconds and I'm putting the top gel on now. So like I said, I only did one coat of this color. If you want it to be a little bit darker on the tip, you can add some more color by all means. But the way that I wanted mine to look, um, I just did one coat. So then I went ahead and cured that for 120 seconds as well. And this was the final look after the gel. So sometimes the gel can make the nails look a little bit bulky. So I went ahead and did just a little bit of fine tuning with my nail file, giving it a little bit more shape so it wasn't so rounded. So here are my nails after filing them down some more and the Beatles kit from Amazon came with its own cuticle oil and it smells so so good you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on my oil, not my oils, I'm going to go ahead and put that on my cuticles to get them some moisture and I'll come back with the final look. Now, when I was looking at the footage for this video, I thought this was so funny because I literally was rubbing my hands like Birdman. Like, I was trying to get all of that moisture into my nails. But here's the final look, you guys. I'm so excited about how they came out. Like I said, everything in the kit, well, everything that I used was in the kit that I got from my local hair store that's literally five minutes down the road from me. Um, so I'm going to link everything that I used below in the description box. Um, so if you really liked and enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm so excited about how they came out, you guys. I'm really, really excited about this. And, you know, of course, I'm editing this video in um, present day time. So a girl actually commented to me about my nails at the gas station. It really made me feel good because, you know, I put my work into these. <laughs> See y'all next time.